I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ who is in recovery for self-harm. My name is Brianna. I was born in Austin, Texas on May 24th, 1997. I am the youngest of two. My sister is 11 years older than me. When I was younger to cope with my pain or fear, I would just shut down and stop talking. I never really try to draw attention to myself. However, when I did feel the need to have attention, I would act out by crying or screaming. When I was 12, I started to self-harm. I didn't feel good enough. I didn't feel wanted and I was so angry. I didn't know how to express my anger. My freshman year of high school, I started to look for meaning and approval with guys. When those relationships ended, I would feel worse about myself and would sink into a depression. My self-harm started getting worse at this time, and my mom found out. My mom had gotten involved in Celebrate Recovery about a month before this happened. She discovered that there was a Celebrate Recovery specifically geared toward teenagers called The Landing. She told me that I was going to try that out. I grew up in the church and have always known that God existed. However, I didn't have a relationship with him. When I was 12, I had a pretty traumatic experience that led me to be hospitalized with a concussion. It was at this point I decided to give my life to Jesus and be baptized. However, it wasn't until I had been coming to the landing for about a year that I really embraced principle three in my recovery, consciously choose to commit all my life and care to God's control. When I started coming to the landing, I didn't talk like ever. But after a while, I started talking, and now I can't stop. I have not self-harmed in five months, and a year after working the program, I was able to stop self-harming for two years. I've gained a lot of self-confidence, and now I know how to deal with bad things that happen, and my feelings without hurting myself or numbing myself with drugs. Since starting the landing, I have been able to forgive myself for making bad decisions that put me in an emotional state to begin hurting myself and wanting to kill myself. And I've forgiven my father and my ex-boyfriends who hurt me. I have also been able to make amends to one of my ex-boyfriends who got caught up in my self-destructiveness and my friends who I pushed away and put walls in front of. My relationships with my mom and dad and sister have been healed and improved during this past four years. I really enjoy spending time with my sister's children. Uh, in the past four years, I have started to really believe in God and trust that he has a plan for me. I have learned that he really actually does love me. To celebrate the changes God has made in my life, I tell my story in hopes to help other people that are in similar circumstances that I was in. If I had to name three people who have made a positive impact in my life since the beginning, since beginning the landing, I would have to say my leader slash friend, Bonnie Cat, because she is the one who truly believed that I could change and who was there for me whenever I needed her. My therapist, Gina, she was the first person I went to for help, the first person who I told what was happening in my life. She helped me get to the root of my problems. Finally, Miss Kathy, because she was one of the few people to understand my pain and that truly cared about me. I'm happy to share that I have not self-harmed in five months and have not abused drugs in four years. To the newcomer, I would like to say, it may seem overwhelming at first, but keep coming back. Even if you don't think it'll help, keep coming because I promise you one day, you will hear something in one of the lessons that will hit you right in the heart. Then you will start to change. I practice principle eight by telling my family and friends to try the landing and or CR, share my story with them and listen and be there for them. I enjoy helping to lead worship and co-lead a girls open share group. I want to close my story by sharing one of my favorite Bible verses from Revelations 21.4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. Thank you for letting me share.